Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to welcome another back. episode. Yes, welcome back to another episode of Thief Simulator. Now, we completed our objective last time, which was to get enough levels and skill points so we can move on with the story. We do have a micro camera, and it says to put it in the living room of 206 without being noticed. So, let's head to Richie R Street. Here we are. 206 will be... Looks like to the right, maybe? I see 205. Yes, yeah, 206 is right there. Okay, I think we can park off over here into the trees will be fine. Pop the trunk. You know they got cameras places. Look at this place. Wow. Okay. We have to put this in the living room. There's a camera. I think we're going to get better at marking these cameras around their property. Here's a gate. Here's a camera. So there's not really a way through there. Well, the camera is moving. It's still 12, 12 a.m. We got time. Let's look around real quick. Looks like all the shutters are closed, and so far, I'm not sure. I know right now I don't have anything that can let me inside if the shutters are closed. That might change. Look at that brick. <laughs> Seems like a place I might be able to enter. I know last time I was able to jump on a brick and jump over. I was able to exploit it a little bit that way. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to do that here. So strange. Why wouldn't they just extend it from there? Why would they dip in there and then continue? That's weird. And look over here. What is this? They got like a whole bunch of wooden benches that look kind of awkward. I don't know if I like that design, but hey, it's not my house. Who am I to judge? Now, let's see around the corner. It looks like that's the only way in from what I can see. I can't go through the bushes like Homer Simpson, so let me make it around. I gotta pick this gate. Thankfully, no one is on this street. They're all too concerned with 205 over there. This is an easy lock. I don't even have to do anything. I just hold down the left click. Now, let's see. Is there any entrance point? Ah, here. Ah... There it is. Oh, now there's somebody. Now somebody comes over this way. I can hide right here. As they come around that corner. I guess we're going to have to wait till morning, which it is already early morning. They shouldn't be able to see me through the bush. The bushes should act like a wall. They should be safe here. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, we're good. Great. Now, let's continue onward. We need to get inside the house. Let's go this way. I gotta be careful. There could be another camera. I don't see any. But they could be pretty stealthy. Looks like we're going to this disgusting backyard with all these weird wooden, wooden benches. I don't understand this design at all. It'd be cool if they had like a gazebo or something. Instead of what these things are. I've never seen those before in my life. I don't see any cameras back here. What was that? Something about a... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I think I'm looking at the... Um, the little indicators. I see those words pop up every now and then. I'm like, what's going on? Plant a micro camera in the living room. Break or steal the lioness painting. Yes, I'd love to. So it seems like the way in is the only way out as well. Oh, here they are sleeping. Very nice. I wish I could get spot them from here. From the blinds. Won't let me look at them so I can't see the routine 
And then as we go over, let me just take a peek. I want to make sure there's no other cameras that's going to set off any kind of alarm. Oh, oh, okay, this one caught me. That's okay, though. Oh, they're coming from that direction. Let's go this direction. I think we're okay. I believe there is a dumpster over here. Oh, wow. They are right behind me. Okay, we gotta wait till daytime anyway. So not a huge loss. Oh, look at the... What is that? It's just like... Is that the city? I'm not sure what that is over there in the great beyond. So it is 7 a.m. Let's hop back in our vehicle. Let's get a little bit closer to the location. Without wrecking into anything so we don't pay any appraisal money or repair money, I guess I should say. Alright, here's where we need to be. Pull off over here. Excellent. Alright, see now all the windows are open so we can actually do stuff. Let's look through here though and see if we can spot anybody. Look at that lens flare. I don't see anybody home. Let's take a whole walk around. We got nothing but time. Yeah, I don't see anybody over here. I see people walking around. I wonder if that red light has spotted me coming through or if there's another camera somewhere. All right. Lots of people walking around, that's okay. This door's pretty easy to break into. This guy's going off on his own. Alright, there's a guy coming, so we'll wait for him. Just act cool and casual like a cucumber. Oh, now he's going his own direction. Alright, perfect. Now, there's going to be plenty of ways to get inside. No one's coming this way. Oh, look at that little red light. I see ya. There is nothing to worry about over here. Alright. Alright. So we should be able to do this pretty easily, especially if everybody is out of the house. Which it seemed to be, at least for my little walk around. It could be off, I guess, over in this direction of the house. I know the bedroom was in the back. I remember seeing them sleeping before we ran from the police and restarted. This brick texture looks funky. All right, we're almost there. I'd like to go ahead and take that painting as well. $2,000 for that job. All right, let's get inside. Oh my gosh. Did I make too much noise? Oh man, I gotta do it slowly, I guess? I never did a tutorial for the glass cutting. I feel like that was a mistake. All right, let's see if I can finesse this. Otherwise, we might just reload it. <laughs> okay, they're coming around from the back. Freeze! Oh. Okay, so I guess I gotta do it slower or the glass will break. I'm not sure. Again, there was no tutorial. Glass cut sensor. Ah, okay. Well, that would make sense. Maybe if I read, then I could do okay. So, which window can I get into? Glass cut sensor. Glass cut sensor. Glass cut sensor. Glass cut sensor. All of these windows have a glass cutting sensor. Locked, locked, locked. Hmm. See, that makes it more difficult then. 
So my plan was just to cut the glass, get inside, take the painting, plant the microphone or the mini camera, and I'm out of there. Bada boom, bada bang. But now there's no bada booming, no bada banging. So I gotta figure out something else. I wonder if I can steal the painting from here. That'd be awesome. No. Not quite that broken, I see. We're gonna have to find another way inside. Perhaps parkouring. Oh, I have been a parkour master in my day. No. Nope, okay. <laughs> I'm sure I could do it. I'm sure I could. I just don't think there's anything that's going to be helpful up there. We might, might need to get some tips for this job. Because I do not have a clue how this needs to be done. Glass cut sensor. Okay, there is a even a keypad on the door. Oh. Wow. Glass cut sensor. I hear somebody. Well, we figured out how to get inside. Oh, there they are. Windows, security panel. Okay, this is very time sensitive. Okay, now the windows should all be not secured. I should be able to cut the glass. No? Glass cut sensor. Check this guy out, antique pot. Oh. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Gonna take this big boy. Look at all the people over here now. Earlier there was nobody here. Now there's a whole drove of people. I think we're okay to snake around here. Yes. Okay, I see two over there in the living room, which is where we need to be. Let's take this big boy pot over here. So far, as far as the security and the story is secure, uh, concerned, we are unnoticed. Just throw this over the fence. Maybe. Nope. Come on, get over there. Get over there. Jesus. I'm trying to throw it over. Oh, so close. It was on the fence. <laughs> Come on. Make up your mind. Don't be on the fence about things. Perfect. Excellent. I'll take that later. It's exactly where I want it. Okay, that wasn't even part of the optional job, but I'm sure that's going to fetch a handsome price on the bay. Alright, this job here. Oh. Okay, I discovered the routines. Oh, this guy's leaving, I think. Don't come this way. How? Wait, how did he discover me? I'm curious how he discovered me. Oh my gosh. There is no way. 
There was absolutely no way he at first he nothing 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 was it like the doors open look at his eyes He's like got some demonic eyes right there Nobody's in there as far as I could tell But close this door Okay, here we go. See, now nobody's here. There is a laptop here. I do want that laptop. Oh, a video game console. It's locked. I can unlock it later. A Washman guitar. That should probably fetch a pretty price. Nobody's here. Let's grab this laptop. Anything in the drawer. We've got this painting here. The lioness painting that we need to take for an extra $2,000. Look at this giant TV here. Can I go out the windows? Excellent. Let's throw this on over. Maybe. No. There he goes. TV. Let's do the same thing. Perfect. And we could go ahead and get a few more items here. While we are here. Do you have anything in your drawers? There's usually nothing good in the drawers, I've noticed. If there's anything at all. That stuff in the drawer just stayed behind. <laughs> anything down here? Usually just pants. Some clothing. Nothing special. Okay. A few more drawers. Nothing. We have a router here. Any money in the nightstand? Uh-oh. Oh, we have this. $7 lamp. Put that in our bag right there. Any more money over here in this nightstand? No? Another $7 lamp? Inventory full. Okay. All right. I say that we did our jobs, both of them. So a few things we learned on this mission... Make sure you actually look at the window. If it says a glass cut sensor, you cannot use your glass cutter. Secondly, some of the doors have keypads, which you actually have to use the electronic hacking thing, similar to how we unlock devices. And also, I guess you could be found out if you leave the front door open, maybe. Maybe that was the thing. I'm not sure exactly. Okay, we are good to go here. I think we're good to go all the way, actually. Perfect. Okay, now we load up the car with those two things, the painting and the big screen TV, and we get the heck out of Dodge, and we completed a first job of the day. First story job, so next will be the next story job, I imagine. Let's pull up right over here. Won't go too far. The stuff is right here, laying down, ready to be packaged. All nice and neat. Put a bow on it. Here we are. Get some sleep is the story. That's my next mission. That is a mission I will do gladly any day. Now, let's go on over to the bay first, and then we'll go to the pawn shop. Then we'll get some sleep, and then we'll continue on with the story. S rank easy once we figured out what we were doing now those hints probably would have came in very very much handy we probably wouldn't have failed as many times so in the future I probably will unlock those hints it's only a few dollars 
probably worth the information. Information is power. I don't see, oh, here it is. $4,000. Oof. That would have been really nice, but I was trying to get the jobs done and get out of there. Oh, actually, before I get out of here, I do have a laptop. I think I have two laptops to go ahead and hack into. So let me do this real quick. Perfect. All right, both laptops are completed. They're all hacked into, so we're good with that. Now let's go to the pawn shop. I also got the stuff in my storage. I do have to remember. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back. Look at that, thirteen hundred dollars for that Linus painting. Oh, so we also got two thousand dollars for taking it. You have to remember, so well, it's quite lucrative. Now let me grab this stuff in my console here. Let me go ahead and get this over here. I'm wasting a lot of extra space by having that in there without selling it. I wish I would go ahead and take into account the stuff in your inventory so he would just go ahead and buy that without me having to pull it out. That's what she said. Here we go. Excellent. Now let's go grit some shut eye. Home. Perfect. Oh, nope. I don't want to do this quite yet, although... No, we already have these jobs ready to go. Alright. Let's go to sleep. No other jobs on rent -a thug Let's sleep for one hour. Nope, we have to do more than that. Two hours? 7 p.m.? 9 p.m.? You gotta be a little bit more specific, Story, when you say get some sleep. Because I'm getting sleep, but you're not happy with the amount of sleep I'm getting. I am so confused. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it would just it would just let me sleep continuously and the objective would not complete. It's just like, no, now you got to wake up. Well, update your objective. Hey, it's time to get read your mind. Go fetch it and bring it in. It's just the thing we need to wrap this up. All right, now I got to go get the camera. Wow, okay. Well, that gives me time to get that giant antique pot that I wanted, so let's head to Richie R Street. Here it is. Perfect. Hacker man achievement we got. Alright, there's that giant antique pot that I wanted. So we will go ahead and grab that. Let's take this out with me. Not a big deal. Did those cones get bigger outside? I didn't think they came all this way. They seem to have grown, haven't they? Okay, put that on that side. We should have closed the door. But it is what it is. Let's go. I feel like the cones are getting bigger. I don't know. I didn't think they came all this way. Alright. Let's move on over. We're making a lot of noise right now, but that's okay. We're just going to toss this on the other side as much as possible. It's a little too far. Get over there. Perfect. See, that I should be able to grab from the other side, I believe. Can I get on this? Oh, I can. Perfect. Nice. Look at that. Use my big old brain. Now, to grab the camera and get out of there. Now, I know there is a safe in the garage. It might be worth going over there and trying to get into that safe while we wait. Let's make our way over. I wish there was a speed increase for the crouching as a skill. Hopefully, there's more skills in Thief Simulator 2 because there is a lot of stuff you could do with the skill tree. The skill tree in this one is pretty basic. It's just... Oh my gosh. Here we go. Go, go, go. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd my pot go? Oh, there it is. 
Oh, he's coming. I'll be back for you, Pot. Oh, we're hiding from him. He doesn't know where we're at. Oh. But he's too close to our beloved Pot. Will he just go away? I wonder. He is not at all concerned with our location at this moment. I wonder if to him we're out of bounds. He disappeared! He's vanished. He's like Slenderman of the police. We still have one star for the burglary discovered by the tenant, but the police... Oh, there they are. Now they're gone. Wow, okay. Interesting. What a strange and bizarre circumstances and turn of events. I thought we were going to be in some trouble there, but it turns out everything worked out pretty well. All right, let's do that again, shall we? I wonder how they're seeing me. Is it because I don't close the doors behind me? Is it really that? Or is it just bad luck? Now this person's coming along. I need to wait for her to get out of the way. There's so many people over here now. Strange. Walk across, please. Thank you. All right, here we are. Close. Well, guess we'll open and close stuff now, just in case that's the stuff going on. The reason why they're detecting me. I knew I should close that front door, but hey, if it all works out, it all works out. Now, I gotta get another idea of about their location right now their area is unknown I should have grabbed those hints from the computer I said I was going to but I just haven't done it at all and so it's something I have to remind myself of now all right let's try this again and then all right how where did you come from no where did he come from perfect All right, let's do this again. If at first you don't succeed. Okay, so they're both in there, which could be nice. I'm going to close this door. Now does him, does the door being open or closed determine whether or not we're detected? Or does he go to his door see that it's been hacked and that alone determines whether we've been detected because if that's what it is there's not much we could do about that unless we know exactly the routine i wish when we actually looked at them and viewed them and it gives us more idea about the routine it just gives us a segment and that segment up there doesn't really help us it just tells us that they're definitely home at these times doesn't tell us in the gray whether they're home or not so let's put this down let's jump up here Throw our pot over perfectly. Okay, so this is the quandary we're in. Now, once it gets out of the red, does he leave? And if he leaves, does he notice the door's been hacked? There is a burglar here. He's leaving. See, yeah, he just sees that his door is open that's it that's it he just sees that it's open he just sees that it's been hacked there's no other indicator that we did it oh my gosh that's annoying okay another thing we learned today if you hack their door they'll know it let's wait for the police are we safe here Oh no, here he comes. Alright. It's a foot race. He's gaining on us. He's so fast. He's so quick. Okay, we did it. We're okay. 
He's on the other side of the fence. What a loser. Look at you, idiot. Oh, no, he went through the fence. That is not fair. Wow, 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 wow. So, they know when you're hacking or when you're inside their house just because, just because of the door. If the door is unlocked, they know you're inside immediately. Could it be that someone forgot to lock the door? Nope, it has to mean a burglar is inside and he's been detected. They immediately know where I am and everything. Amazing. Secondly, the police don't care about fences. Fences don't phase them. I guess he, you could say he jumped the fence. I mean, that's kind of a, a hard fence to jump in my opinion without like having the potential of skewering yourself, but hey, I guess that's why he gets paid the big bucks. Okay, so I'm, I'm afraid if I pick this lock, then he knows I picked the lock. So crazy. So we're gonna test something real quick. I went ahead and unlocked this door to the main gate to see if I could save myself some time. Now having that door unlocked, will he assume there's a burglar and will they know it's me on the other side of the road or what's going on? Let's see. Okay, so just by unlocking the door, they know that I'm a burglar just by unlocking the door. Let's go ahead and reload that checkpoint. That's interesting. So it's you, it's, it's this guy. It's this guy standing over here. I could be on the other side of the map. I could be on the other side of the map. It's this guy over here who unlocks my door. I swear other people, just the last game, people were leaving their house while I was inside and they had no issue, no problem even if I unlock their doors. Now, for whatever reason, with this house in particular, they're like, nope. Okay, front door we got pretty quickly. Now, I want in that safe, because there's so much in there. All right, here we go. All right, get everything. She's still in the kitchen area, so we have time. Take the pot. Looks like she's going to the bedroom. We're good, we're good, we're good. Camera. Now, if we can get the pot and get out of here, success. This guy's coming home soon. We don't have a lot of time. Can I just put this over here? Come on, get over there. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, good. We did it. 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 We're off. We did it. We did it. We're done. We're all we're all there. No more. I'm done. I'm finished. That's enough for me. Now, let's go grab that pot. The antique pot that's going to sell for $4,000. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how happy I am to be done with this mission. That was the stupidest thing ever. From them just knowing who I was from unlocking the door to the glass censored windows, glass cutting censored, to just their really, really tight schedule before he got home. Oh, shoot, he's still gonna see the doors unlocked and then peg me for doing it. Okay, let's get out of here. I gotta go unnoticed, it says, so let's, let's just dip. All right, done. I'm done. I'm finished. Forget that mission. S rank, you damn right. Four thousand dollars. Yes, please. Oh. Ooh, a micro, micro camera with recording. What does that say? Where was that? Electronics. 
micro camera with recording for the story. We got some watches too. There's a car on two car alarm, and it's got something inside that belongs to us. Go bring it in. Okay, let me go ahead and sell. I don't have anything there. I know I have some jewelry. Let me take away the jewelry. Let me sell stuff to the pawn. Welcome back. 1500. All right. And then we're going to end the episode there. So we did one house, put a camera in, took a camera out, got some items, quite a big of money out of that house. Actually, we got $28,000 now. Learned a whole bunch and kind of confused about some of the mechanics. So if you have played this before and you know maybe a little bit more than I do, let me know what's going on. It appeared that one house we went into, we broke in, people leaving, no issue. They didn't even see us in their front yard, which was weird at first anyway, but still. They didn't say, hey, this door's unlocked. There's the burglar over there. So I'm confused why this house did that. It seems strange. Even if I unlocked it and then walked across the street, they were still like, hey, that guy's burglarizing us. So kind of weird, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.